Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today we continue our uh, discussion about boundary layer and uh, I would like to bring you another topic uh, about boundary layer but it is not related to the velocity uh, but it's related to thermal. So there is one phenomenon uh, called thermal boundary layer. So just a velocity boundary layer develops when there is fluid flow over a surface. A thermal boundary layer must develop if the fluid free stream and surface temperature differs. Consider flow over an isothermal flat plate as shown below. At the leading edge, the temperature profile is uniform with T y equal to T infinity. However, fluid particles that come into contact with the flat plate achieve thermal equilibrium at the, flat, at the plate surface temperature. In turn, these particles exchange energy with those in the adjoining fluid layer and temperature gradient develop in the fluid. The region of the fluid in which this temperature gradient exists is the thermal boundary layer and its thickness, delta T, or delta capital D like this, is typically defined as the value of Y for which the ratio is shown as this one. With increasing distance from the leading edge, the effect of heat transfer penetrates further into the free stream and the thermal boundary layer grows. So here, I think uh, this uh, diagram is uh, easier for you to understand about the thermal boundary layer. Previously, we uh, discussed about the boundary layer, but that definition is actually on uh, the velocity. So means that uh, in this term, we differentiate the boundary layer whether it is caused by the difference of velocity or the difference of the temperature gradient. So for uh, boundary layer that cause or uh, we define according to the uh, velocity distribution of like this one is called the velocity boundary layer so uh, i think you already know that we define the boundary layer thickness here is the distance of y exists from the velocity equal to zero until the velocity which is 99 percent to the capital U. So here the capital U is written as U infinity. So and then about the thermal boundary layer, it means that if, for example, you have a flat plate like this and this flat plate produce heat. So and for sure the, the heat will uh, heat up the, the air and then there must have the temperature gradient uh, on that surface. Okay, so and then uh, the idea is uh, reverse from the idea of velocity boundary layer here. So means that because of our plate here is uh, produce heat, so means that the maximum temperature will occur on the surface. So means like this one. So and then when the value of y means if the distance uh, of y here so the temperature will become uh, cooler and cooler here and then at one certain point here, one point here, the, te the temperature at this level is 99% compared to the temperature of the normal free stream uh, air here. So in that, uh, in that moment, so we could draw uh, a locus or we could draw a boundary from the leading edge here and we could draw something like this. So this is the thermal boundary layer. So again, we could define the thermal boundary layer thickness here is actually the distance of y from the zero point here to a point where the temperature ratio here is equal to 0 0.99. So if we could see here, the terms Ts is the temperature of the surface. So means that the temperature on this surface. So the Ts is the temperature on this surface and then the T infinity here is actually the temperature at the inlet. So means that the 
ts minus t infinity means the delta t on this surface. So, and then the ts is the t surface and t here is the temperature for each point in this gradient. So, and then uh, if the ratio is equal to 99%, so means that it is actually the idea is we have uh, this point where the temperature, for example, we have an air here, so the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So here, maybe the the I, the temperature is 30.5, okay, and then this is the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So means that we we take the condition where the the difference here, the ratio here is 99%. Okay, however, we are not uh, stressing on thermal boundary layer because uh, in uh, UTM, normally uh, research or calculation about the temperature uh, is uh, focused in a thermodynamics subject. So for your information, so we have uh, for laminar flow, so we could calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness is depend on this equation. So we have delta T, which is the uh, thermal boundary layer thickness, is equal to dV. Delta V means velocity boundary layer thickness over Prandtl number 1 over 3. So and then Prandtl number can be calculated like this one. Okay, Cp mu over K, which is the Cp here is the specific heat. And mu here is the dynamic viscosity and the K is the thermal conductivity. So from Blasius velocity, boundary layer thickness, delta V here. So we know that the, the common equation for the uh, boundary layer thickness is 5x over square root Renault. So and then we could use this equation uh, to to estimate uh, this one. So for example, if the Prandtl number is equal to one, so we could say that uh, delta T boundary layer thickness and the thermal boundary layer thickness is equal to velocity boundary layer thickness. So and then if the Prandtl number is less than one, so we could say that uh, delta T is greater than delta V. And if the Prandtl number is greater than 1, so delta T is less uh, than uh, delta V. So, and then uh, the simple uh, example is like this. If the Prandtl number is 1000, so we could say that uh, thermal boundary layer thickness is almost equal to velocity boundary layer thickness divided by 10. So, this equation is actually come from this uh, idea. Okay, this is the uh, simple idea if, if, if you want to imagine how the uh, boundary layer thickness of velocity and thermal uh, being developed. So if the thermal boundary layer thickness is uh, lesser than the velocity boundary layer thickness, you could draw like this. So and then if the uh, thermal boundary layer thickness is greater than uh, velocity uh, boundary layer thickness you could draw like this so and then this is the Prandtl number so depends on the uh, fluid of type a uh, type of fluid here so we have air carbon dioxide hydrogen water mercury and uh, glycerin and then for turbulent flow the thermal boundary layer thickness for turbulent flow does not depend on Prandtl number but instead on the Renault number so it is because when the flow becomes turbulent, so the vortex comes in, so it means that the, the molecule is not flow in uh, in good manner, not in a streamlined uh, situation. So there are many uh, uh, unpredictable movement of the molecule. So it means on that time, uh, the, the idea of Prandtl number is become less influence. So we just use uh, the idea of Prandtl number. So normally we could say that in turbulent, uh, 
the the flow will distribute the heat actually so because it is uh, the chaos stick happen on the surface so normally we could assume that uh, thermal boundary layer thickness is almost equal to velocity boundary layer thickness so uh, we could calculate by using 0.37x over square root uh, uh, Renault number uh, of 5 here so I think uh, later on uh, we will uh, I will show you the calculation of turbulent boundary layer so we could get uh, this uh, value later on okay so this idea is uh, we assume that the flow is turbulent right from the start of the boundary layer and the turbulent boundary layer behave in a geometrical similar manner so uh, here later on okay in chapter 5 and chapter 6 we will uh, i will share you how to calculate the turbulent boundary layer uh, we have two assumptions one is we assume that 100 percent is turbulent and another one is we assume that only a part of that uh, is turbulent means that it starts from the lamina and we need to calculate the the lamina boundary layer first and then we need to uh, continue with the turbulent boundary layers so, so, but in this calculation, we assume that 100% is turbulent. Okay, we go for a simple example of thermal boundary layer thickness. Example number one, assuming that the thermal boundary layer of air is the same thickness as, as the momentum boundary layer, Calculate the thickness of the thermal boundary layer one centimeter away from the leading edge of a flat plate if the thermal diffusivity is 2.009 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and the free stream velocity is 7 centimeter per second. So first we need to calculate the Renault number. So we use the idea of rho VL over mu. So we uh, in substitute the value. So we have the density of air, we have the velocity here, and then we have the x, the L, the distance. So everything needs to convert it into SI units. So you need to use the uh, meter per second and uh, meter here. So we have length here. So and then we get it is 47.83. So the value is less than so here we are uh, focusing on flow on flat plate so means that the the transition or the boundary between lamina and turbulent is 5 times 10 to the power of 5 so please uh, do not uh, misunderstand with the idea of 2000 and 4000 if you are dealing with flow in pipe yes your uh, uh, Renault number, uh, the, your critical Renault number is around 2000. So mean if flow in pipe, less than 2000 means fully uh, lamina. But for flow on flat plate, we will use these numbers to differentiate between uh, whether it is lamina or turbulent. So and then uh, because it is less than 5 times 10 to the power of 5, so we assume that the flow is lamina, then we use this equation to calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness. So we could calculate the uh, Prandtl number, so we substitute and then we could calculate the uh, velocity uh, boundary layer thickness by using the Blasius uh, equation. And then we could calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness as 0 0.00802 meters. So here again, I would like to stress here, if you do not know the velocity profile, then you could use Blasius EZ solution uh, to calculate your boundary layer thickness. Because um, Blasius EZ solution is the representative equation for, boundary, uh, for lamina uh, boundary layer. So and then uh, we go for example 2, calculate the ratio of thermal boundary layer thickness to hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness for glycerin and uh, hydrogen. So and then we have the if the glycerin, the Prandtl number is 2450, so we could get the ratio is 0 0.07 and the uh, Prandtl number for hydrogen is 0 0.6 at 4 and then we could have the ratio is 1.13496.
So this is uh, example number three. For air at 15 degrees Celsius flowing over a flat plate at a free stream velocity of 6 meter per second, determine the velocity boundary layer and thermal boundary layer thickness at a distance of 0 0.5 meter from the leading edge. So we calculate the uh, Renault number rho VL over mu. So we substitute the value and we get it is 205,000. So it is still 2.05 times 10 to the power of 5. So it's still under uh, re, uh, lamina region. So we assume that this flow is lamina. And then we use this uh, uh, equation. We could find that the prana number is 0 0.699. And then we could calculate the, uh, we could calculate the velocity boundary layer thickness as this one. So, and then uh, we could calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness as 0 0.006221 meter. This is example four. Find the thermal entry length for plug flow between two parallel plates with gap 2L. Assume that there is uniform heat flux. Thermal entry length is defined as the location where the thermal boundary layer grown from the plate met at the center line. So and then for thermal entry length for a flow between two plates at 2L is given by this one. And the uniform wall temperature condition is uh, given as this one. So this both uh, equation is actually for this situation. And normally if uh, in your uh, exam, so all the equation here will be given in the question. So and then uh, another uh, common phenomenon that you should know is if we are talking about flow in pipe or we are talking about two parallel plates so normally the boundary layer will met at the center line of that plate or uh, in center line of uh, pipe so because we assume that we have a no slip condition at this uh, wall and then the velocity gradient will increase uh, in same pattern mean uh, symmetry and then at the same at one set, uh, certain point here so it will merge uh, together so and then uh, for this one uh, the entry length for a flow in a pipe as uh, can be uh, assumed as this one for uh, turbulent flow so we could assume that it is equal to 10 d so this is the if you read a, a textbook about this one, so normally it's, uh, we call it as a fully developed region. So start from here, when the boundary layer is finished, the development of our boundary layer is steady. So we call it, uh, we call it as a uh, fully developed region. So and then uh, for example five, Glycerin at 10 degrees Celsius is flowing over a flat plate at a free stream velocity of 2 meter per second. Determine the velocity and thermal boundary layer thickness at a distance of 0 0.75 meter from the leading edge. Also calculate the ratio of the velocity boundary layer thickness to the thermal boundary layer thickness for this flow and interpret the result. So we assume in this situation because we have a glycerin here, so we assume that its uh, kinematic viscosity is 0 0.003 and then the branded number is 34,000 and we could calculate the Renault number as 449. So and then because uh, it is uh, in lamina uh, uh, situation, so we could calculate the velocity boundary layer thickness by using the Blasius exact solution. So we could get 0 0.177 meter. Therefore, the velocity boundary layer thickness at distance 0 0.75 from the leading edge of the plate is 0 0.177 meter. So and then if we need to calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness, we could use this equation because it is uh, in lamina uh, 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 condition so we could get it is equal to 0 0.005464 meter 
calculate the ratio of velocity boundary layer thickness to the thermal boundary layer thickness. So we could calculate it as 32.39 uh, as the conclusion. As the branded number is very high for glycerin, the velocity boundary layer thickness is more than the thermal boundary layer thickness. So this is example 6, engine oil at 100 degrees Celsius and velocity of 0 0.1 meter per second flows over both surface of a 0 0.8 meter long flat plate maintained at 20 degrees Celsius. Determine the velocity boundary layer thickness at the trailing edge, the thermal boundary layer thickness at the trailing edge, the magnitude of the local heat flux at the trailing edge, the local surface shear stress at the trailing edge, the total drag force per unit width of the plate, and the magnitude of the heat transfer per unit width of the plate. So and then the, the property here is given, the property of engine oil is given like this. So and then we could uh, calculate the velocity boundary layer thickness by using the Blasius uh, exact solution. So we could get the delta V, the velocity boundary layer thickness as 0 0.1312 meters. And then we could calculate because it is laminar, so we could calculate the thermal boundary layer thickness as 0 0.1278. And then uh, this is just uh, an equation, so we could uh, calculate the Nusselt number actually. So as hx over k, and then we substitute it is equal to 0 0.332 square root Reynolds and branded number 1 over 3. So we could substitute everything, so we could get the value of h here is uh, 18.17 so and then the heat flux can be calculated as this one so and then we substitute the different of uh, temperature for this one and then we could get it is a negative 1453.6 watt per meter square So we could calculate the local shear stress. So tau is equal to CD times 1 over 2 rho u square. So again, please be careful about this equation because we are calculating shear stress. So please do not uh, substitute the, uh, the value of uh, surface area because the, the value of A is not uh, included here because we are only calculated uh, the shear stress. So we substitute uh, everything so we could get the uh, value is 0 0.094 newton per meter square and the total drag force per unit width for two surfaces can be calculated by using this uh, equation because they want uh, the question wants the per unit width so mean we need to divide by the value of width here so and then we could get the, the drag force per unit width as 0 0.301 newton per meter so the the meaning of per meter here means for you un, uh, per unit width so and then the magnitude of the heat transferred per unit width or the plate two plates it can be calculated like this one so and then uh, we could get it is negative for 4651.5 watt per meter